good morning. I literally just woke up. If you watched my last video, you'd know that I was in Mallorca. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, I am in Portugal. Basically my, my second home here. Like I've been coming since I was like zero, pretty much. Today is gonna be an interesting one because we are going to Seville, or Sevilla, however you want to pronounce it. I don't know whether it's one of those words where like you want to say it in the accent or not because you don't want to sound like a dickhead, but also I feel like I should be saying Sevilla. Anyway, not the point. Today we're going there. We're gonna explore, see what's going on, vintage shopping, uh, I wanna buy some clothes. We've got a long journey ahead of us. It's like 10 a.m. right now, and I'm getting an outfit together, but it's literally like 37 degrees, so I changed. I got a polo on, I got my blue jeans that I literally wear every single day because these are the only like jeans I pack, and my loafers that you saw in the last video as well. Let's get on the road to Seville, Sevilla. Oh hello. Oh god, they're taking a selfie. This is not good. We've now arrived in Sevilla, everyone. One thing I've already noticed. In where? Sevilla? Seville? No. Seville. See, I had this problem earlier on. Anyway, first things first. Food and drink, because it is 1.30, so because when we crossed the border to Spain, we went forward an hour, so we're going to have to, you know, get some lunch, get some fuel in us before we do anything. But look at this, everyone. Who's being get that in London. It's like Victorian times in London, but they just haven't really progressed. I've gone quite um, quite rogue with the footwear choice today. These aren't my comfiest shoes, and they're prone to giving me blisters. I'm wearing my thickest socks with these ones, so I can sort of walk a bit like this. Don't worry about that. The, uh... Oh yeah. Oh, well, let me get a knife in there. Chicken and cheese croquette would never go wrong. No. No. All of the winter shops seem to be that way. I've got a feeling the uh, the vintage shop's gonna be quite different, so we'll check that out after lunch. But first, ham. Mm. <laughs> Palace thing. I realise is everyone else's bikes in different cities in London it seems to be better. Oh, but they will have really nice ones. Boris bikes. Limes. limes. They have limes. Yeah, they got limes and everything. We have limes, don't we? We yeah. have a few limes. Limes are new in London, but then we have like the Boris bikes, and I just think Boris bikes are shit. Boris Actually, bikes are so while, hard to While you're on the camera, can you just sure. give us a little um, how, a lesson on how to uh, tune a ukulele? Oh, okay. <laughs> when. I was in year six. Am I actually going to do this right now? We were taught how to tune a ukulele. Basically, the way you do it is to sing a song that goes like this. My dog has fleas, fleas. Okay, we're going to skip this, but I don't have Anyway, please, enough of that. Please, uh, welcome to the monument we've all been waiting for. That's so this doesn't, this does not look. You're telling me that's real? Yeah, like wow. Look at these. Oh my god, I thought, I thought someone just went in then. Joe you know was mad. Is this, this is normal to some people. I feel like we get used to being at home, but this is selfie. Oof. This is literally like could be. Give me a country, a tropical country, Hawaii, but it's not. It feels a bit like Central Park. It does, doesn't it? But with palm trees. Oh, wow. Yeah. Also. Hair check. It's really hot. I'm not gonna lie. I've been going down the whole uh, no shampoo route, as you know. And we've got a little hair update because I've been. I did this in my last video. I still haven't washed my hair since last video, and it's great. No products, no shampoo. Ten out of ten recommend. I mean, to be honest, right now it doesn't look that great. Really? But um, just because like the wind and like the camera angle. You're not meant to say this is a camera. But the, basically, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, there we go. Without there we go. any shampoo or any products. Tony all, in the background. Well, this guy wouldn't know because he doesn't have any hair. I'm not gonna lie, people ask me about what I do to my hair and stuff on, over on TikTok and they go, nothing is basically the answer, just water. <laughs> I don't know what the end was, but it was good. Run into a little problem everyone. 
trying to go vintage shopping right now, but I forgot that the whole Spanish thing is to do siestas. I think we could all deal with, do with a siesta. Introduce that culture to everyone else. So Maxi, Maxi. Four till five sleep. I'm on a horse, okay. I'm on a horse. That's it. So, being on one of those horses just now, one of the horse carriages, felt a little bit bad for the horse, but turns out the horses were quite well kept, apparently. It felt like a tourist. We're doing a lot of tourist things right there. No, I don't even know what the time is, but I'm hot, I'm tired. Smooth. Thank you. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, so I'm now back from Seville, obviously. Um, it's about two days after. I've just been tanning since. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I love Seville. Or Sevilla, I'm not gonna go through this again. Anyway, no vintage clothes really caught my eye when I was there. We only went to one store, which is probably the reason why, because it was like 37 degrees. Uh, that isn't even an exaggeration, it actually was 37 degrees. And it got to about five or 6 p.m. and we just, uh... Yes, I'm sitting on my floor right now. I know you're wondering, why are you sitting on the floor? First of September and the weather has just flopped. I look a little bit sunburned because I was on the beach all day yesterday, which is really nice, I know. But today, I'm basically in England right now, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, for the last two days, I've just been gymming. Honestly, when I come here, it's like a really big like health reset for me. I love going to the gym and just like disconnecting myself completely. Hibernation, not hibernation, but I just like MIA type thing, you know? And then yeah, and then uh, playing a lot of tennis as well. I've been really into tennis recently. Come on. Oh. I'll finish the video on that. That was quite cool. Just one of those places that I come and when I'm when I'm here I like to really disconnect and it kind of made me feel like, you know, like I got really tired of like especially living in a city. I feel like every every it's not just London, it's any city really. And I forget how good nature is and exercise is for you. Like I know it sounds really like Ooh, cliche, oh nature. Mm. But honestly, like I've had some of the most refreshing like two weeks of my life when I come here. So I'm I'm excited to go back home now because like I've had the two weeks off and I'm ready to get back and making videos, shooting stuff, whatever, and just time like off my phone because social media is really toxic. Like I feel like I get really caught up in it when I'm at home. Anyway, getting way too deep. This is kind of why I have YouTube anyway, just to dump my thoughts on you. So yeah, looking forward to get back. I'm gonna do a week in my life vlog. Uh, it's gonna be full of London stuff. Clothes, friends, food. I love winter dressing. Like I love dressing for winter, like layers, coats, everything. And yeah, so we've got a lot to look forward to for September. Fashion week's coming up. Uh, I think I should be in Paris as well at the end of September. So plenty of content and plenty of good times to be had. I wanna post some more stuff that's more, sort of like my creative side. The vlogs are cool, but like I wanna post some like, little stuff that's in my brain. See you later. Peace and love everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, do I have, look at my nose. Like, what is going on? I, I have like a sunglass tan line as well. I just realized. Until next time. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.